Former Legislative Speaker Su Jia Chen has been named the next Secretary General of the Presidential Office. The Presidential Office has made the announcement just prior to the President starting her second term on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Wellington Ku, the Chairman of the Financial Supervisory Commission, says he will be taking a new post at the President's request. Ku told reporters on Monday that he will be the next Secretary General of the National Security Council. President Tsai went to Taoyuan's Longtan district on Monday to attend a memorial service for famed Taiwanese hacker writer Zhong Zhao Zheng. Mr. Zheng had always treated me as a daughter. Upon hearing that he had left us, I felt enormous grief and sorrow. Tsai pledged to carry out the late novelist's spirit by preserving Taiwan's unique hacker culture. Meanwhile in Taipei, more details are coming to light on the appointments for Tsai's second term. Ku, chairman of the FSC, has confirmed rumors of his appointment as head of the National Security Council. When the president consulted me about the position, I had some doubts. The premier has been very positive on my work at the Financial Supervisory Commission, and he hoped I would stay on as its chairman. But the president explained her views on national security again and again, saying she hoped I'd be able to help out. So of course in the end, after insistence from the president, Premier Su let me go. A day earlier on social media, President Office Secretary General Chen Ju announced she would be leaving her post after May 20th. She is widely expected to be nominated for President of the Control Yuan. Pan Blue legislators say Chen's strong ties with the DPP would make her a poor fit for the position, which requires her to investigate the government for misconduct. The DPP shoulders full responsibility for making appointments, and it wants to appoint its own people. That's the spirit of party politics. The KMT did that before, too. The DPP has a very clear stance on the examination and control yuans. We want them both abolished, and we can disband them by amending the constitution. I believe it's good to have someone with seniority in charge of the yuan to manage this area better. With Chen tipped to lead the control yuan, former legislative speaker Xu Jiaqun has been named the next secretary general of the presidential office.